Let's get right to our cover story and a possible medical breakthrough for autism. A new FDA approved eye tracking device that may help with earlier diagnoses for children as young as 16 months old, which could lead to earlier care. ABC News' Rena Roy is joining us with that. Rena, good morning. Well, good morning to you. Health experts say this new eye tracking device could be a major game changer, helping to detect autism sooner in young children, which is key because it means they can receive crucial therapy earlier in life. <laughs> Dawson Britt is a loving 12 year old living with autism. We call him awesome Dawson. Dawson was diagnosed when he was three years old after being enrolled in an early clinical trial for an eye tracking device designed to help diagnose and assess children with autism as early as possible. That small portable tablet device now known as the early point evaluation recently cleared by the FDA. In the study, Dawson was able to sit. It's, it's a, a kid's chair, like in a car. He watches this video and they watch his eyes the whole time. And they show us afterwards that the things that he is looking at look pretty sporadic compared to a typical kid. And while the average age of an autism diagnosis for children in the U.S. is four to five years old, two new studies released earlier this week suggest the early point evaluation could help clinicians diagnose children as young as 16 months and more accurately than with traditional methods alone. The technology works by tracking a child's eye movements 120 times per second while watching videos of other children interact. Clinicians can then compare what the child pays attention to with what typically developing children would look at. For example, a child with autism might not pay attention to hand gestures or facial expressions. In just a few minutes of watching other children at play, there are dozens and then hundreds of different important social cues. We measure what is typical variation and attention of those cues and then what might signify signs of concerns for social disability and concerns for autism. We use that to inform clinicians about whether or not a child may have autism and to actually measure a child's strengths and vulnerabilities in three key areas the level of social disability, as well as a child's level of verbal ability, their communicative abilities, and their nonverbal cognitive problem-solving skills. Experts say early diagnosis and early intervention is crucial when thinking about treatment. And the goal in getting in under the age of three is that um, we can help children with autism to grow and thrive at any age, but if we can identify children before the age of three, the brain is more plastic. It's more amenable to the positive beneficial effects of early intervention. As for Dawson, he's thriving. It truly is about getting your child the help that they need to be successful. It has nothing to do with, with not doing enough or I should do more. It's about getting them what they need. That's the bottom line. And right now, the device is only available in several specialty centers, but the hope is to make it more widely available. Researchers are currently studying whether it can be used by pediatricians and primary care physicians in their offices. Will? All right, a wonderful story. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.